Good morning. Quietish Sunday, wasn't it, really? It started going after the live chat webinar finished. So let's have a look. 2.7, 2.55 the favourite. This is exactly what you expect. Everton nearly pulled it off. Had a goal in the back of the net, but offside. And Aston Villa couldn't conjure up their usual two goals. Manu and Tottenham, who well, just don't know which Manu turns up pretty much, De wouldn't have played. Bochum and Werder Bremen missed a trick here. Nil nil at half time. I did back 2 2 in the correct score market. But if we have these both teams to score angle for Bochum at home, why not lay them very late on? Tony Stark, Iron Man getting the winner, or the goal, for Werder Bremen. So that was a trick missed. Could have produced a very nice profit, that one. Mönchengladbach and Stuttgart. Well, we know Mönchengladbach score two-plus goals at home. So that's the time to take them on at the 2-0. Got the goal from Stuttgart. That could have got you a trading profit, at least, if you went match odds market. You'd have got a net profit out of that. But we... If you wanted a bigger profit, you'd have been looking for that second goal, which didn't arrive. Put it to bed, Munch and Gladbach, in the 91st minute. They are scoring two-plus goals regularly now at home. So a sight to watch out. <coughs> Lazio and Lecce. All about the in-play stats, whether you laid the draw second half. You wouldn't have had long to wait, and the right team scored first to ensure a trading profit there. Fiorentina and Udinese, not another... Bleeping draw for Udinese. Oh, boy. Uh, I didn't see the in-play stats light up at all for Fiorentina. They are the better side. They're top four. Only the three shots on target all match. That's why I was a little reluctant. But Udinese do give you a chance. A couple of couple of draws here. 1-1 and a 2-2. AC Milan and Roma. It's one of those matches. It's tough to predict. 2.05, but it's a Derby-style match. In the Eredivisie, uh, Ajax getting the Desmond 2-2 two -two in. 2-2 <clears throat> two -two to 2-3, two if you followed them. Feyenoord, any senior, again, poor performance from Feyenoord. But I did mention in the research, if you read it, Nyamigan could offer... Uh, competitive match, which indeed they did. Benfica, Rio Ave, as expected really, apart from the 1-1 at half-time. Did Rio Ave score first? Indeed they did. Lady Gaga getting the opening goal. Angel Di Maria, that's not a bad signing, is it? Uh, for Benfica, outstanding. So 3-0, uh, 3-1, any other home score, that's what you expect. Get a goal before half-time. Nice and simple trade, that one. Porto and Braga, Derby-style match. This one, again, is uh, brewing up to be uh, an interesting title race in Portugal. Almeria are yet to win a match. <clears throat> they did dominate against second-place Girona, which was a surprise to me. <clears throat> but this is a second consecutive 0-0 at home. They got one against Mallorca. I didn't take on that draw second half. Would have done very, very late, but not the beginning of the second half, given that nil-nil against Mallorca. They're knocking on the door, Almeria. Will they get a win? That was a good performance against second in the league. Fenerbahce got the late goal. You laid the draw second half. That was about it there. And African Cup of Nations, a couple of draws here. I suppose we could have got the late Egypt equaliser against Mozambique. Guess who? Mohamed Salah, 97th minute penalty. So you could have really cleaned up there if you favoured Egypt throughout. All the big guns are losing. Nigeria, well not winning, put it that way. Nigeria, Egypt, Ghana. Should have got the better of Cape Verde. So let's have a look on to today. Very quiet coupon. Normally my day off. Atalanta, Frosinone. Well, Frosinone just keep losing to the top nine. Away from home, conceding at least two goals. They might score, but it should be in defeat. Uh, this looks a great opportunity for Atalanta to continue 
their winning run at home. Here's to Divisi, as ever, marry the matches with over two and a half goals if you're seeing in play stats. Guimaraes and Aruka, odds on favourite at home. Turkish Super League, I'm not going to research, there have been so many Turkish Super League matches in a row. It's very difficult for me to trust. But uh, you've got, you saw Fenerbahce yesterday struggle to a nil one. We've also got the possible playing without spectators angle as well. But we've got a clear indicator with the market, 1.2 the favourite, so that's a uh, we're leaning towards the home side. African Cup of Nations, the second highest ranked side in the rankings. Senegal, can they get a win? These odds on favourites have not been doing the business at all in the African Cup of Nations. Algeria as well, always tend to underperform. They do have Riyad Mahrez, I think, in the side. He's uh, quite handy. He's not filling his boots in uh, Saudi Arabia. So look out for team news for Algeria. I think they've got a few strong sides, but do be wary. We've had a number of odds on favourites not winning. Asian Cup continues. South Korea, Song Hyun Min, why he's not playing for Tottenham. Uh, should be an easy encounter at 11.30 a.m. there. English League 1, Derby against Burton. Derby really fancied here. Burton, a bit like the Frosinone match. They have the same kind of profile. Struggle to win away at the top sides. Derby is expecting to get a, this to be banking material. I think they've had seven wins in the last nine matches or nine wins in the last 11, something like that. Been in excellent form, Derby. Well worth following. Premier League 2, as ever, over two and a half goals expected. So pick a, a match. Just make sure that recent matches have been full of goals, apart from the last one. Overs, 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 overs. We got a nil-nil last match for, but that was in the different competition. Overs, overs, overs. So up to you if you wanted to play. Just make sure that these sides have had recent goals matches. French League Deux, Auxerre favourite today. I think they were newly relegated. So, but be keeping now. Hopefully, I'll be up for these matches. And uh, there's my my Super Cup in India, Keeling Super Cup. I'll be uh, jetting out. Uh, I'm the sponsor of this uh, competition. I've got to get on a old plane a bit later on. La Liga 2, not much doing there. Turkish 1 League either. So a quiet Monday, normally have it off, but there's a couple of, or two or three readable matches this evening. Uh, which will grab my attention as well. Have a quick look at the tennis. <clears throat> I was up a bit late today, so I've just captured a few matches. They all resulted in profit. So let me see if I can find these matches for you. So these are, were the matches I caught earlier on. Manorino against Varinka. We saw Stan Varinka take a two-set lead against the favourite Manorino. And this is typical of Stan Varinka, who tends to uh, spit the dummy out. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a psychological thing with Stan. Uh, capitulates very quickly. But a uh, good trade. Could have been a lot more profitable had I not cashed out. That could have been uh, heading towards £80, £90 pounds had I not cashed out. But I was only after the odd swing. So a nice 26 green screen there. Tia Maria against Osorio. This is still being played. Can you see the angle in here? We've got odds on favourite uh, Tatiana. No, odds on favourite Camilla Osorio. Winning the second set in the tiebreaker. So just about got through. But that's enough for me to cash out for the £16.58. These are two £40 stakes. Sasnovich and Maskarova. Masarova. This is another good example to you of cashing out despite it not going my way. 6-4. I think uh, Alexandra Sasnovich was competitive this second set. Otherwise, I'd, I'd have not been able to cash out. So add those two together. 
those three together, and that's about a, a, a £50 profit. I've also got one in play now, which is using my set betting technique, plus it's higher stakes. It's a £200 stake. What's happened? 1.2 favourite Taran Kachanov has lost the first set. Now for me, 5.8. For Altmaier to win 3-0 against a 1.2 favourite is very good value. You can see it start rising already. <coughs> but with these kind of odds, you'll have to increase your liability. But we've got a, the safety net of Karen Kachanov being a 1.2 favourite and having just to win one set only. Or the hint of him winning one set. For example, if he's 3 or 4-1 up here and these, this moves significantly enough, I will cash out. I used this technique successfully yesterday. It is riskier, but when you choose the right match, you got very early in the match. Karen Kachanov is favoured. Looks like he's going to break through here again. And you can see the starting to rise. I could take that £14.92 and run away already. So this is the riskier element, but it's taking advantage of five set matches in the men's game, which is unique to Grand Slam tennis. So we've got matches starting. I've already got uh, an obvious slight towards Zhang here, 1.05. Tabilo, Tabilo 1.67. It's a bit lukewarm favouritism, that one. We've got a 1.3 favourite, Vukic. Sorry, 1.4 Thompson against Vukic. These are two Australians meeting each other. And again, had I been a bit more alert, I could have laid Vukic set betting. Because this is going to be a competitive match. We've got two Australians... So no wonder uh, they're going to take a set. Uh, the underdog is going to take a set. Probably missed my opportunity now because uh, he's already got a 0-2 lead. Vukic, 0-3. He's already out to 30s. Could have probably... Well, I don't know what you could have got. It's not liquid enough to show up. But that would have been one to target, most certainly. So that's the tennis at the moment. We go more deep into it during the summer months when we've got Wimbledon and Paris, and it's on English time. This requires an early start. It's not even 6 a.m. UK. We've got a lot of matches upcoming, including Ruby Murray at 6 a.m. Humbert, David Goffin has uh, been flirting with injury concerns. We've got two fellow countrymen meeting each other normally tends to be more competitive than the odds suggest because they'll know each other probably from Davis Cup in the ladies game well Sinia Kova looks like she's just about to win the first set Mertens is uh, already through against uh, I shot the sheriff and uh, Saville is in a tiebreaker so <clears throat> if Saville loses this tiebreaker 1.67 suggestion is that the second set will be competitive because you're only going out in a tiebreaker. So I might see you later on for the football. <clears throat> it's a very quiet evening. But we've got two very readable matches. We've got Galatasaray added into this as well. Odds on Guimaraes at home. Easter Divisi normally full of goals and the uh, Premier League two. African Cup of Nations. Are the odds on favourites going to continue to falter? Question mark. So it's uh, OK enough. Coupon for Monday. It's going to be bitty throughout the week again. Telling Serie A tomorrow. African Cup of Nations. Belgian Super Cup. Or the Belgian Cup. That's a precursor to the return of the Super League. So just a smattering of matches now. FA Cup sees West Ham out. Wolves. These look to be... Um, yep, yeah, Bolton and Luton. I think these are all replays, aren't they? Could offer us a trading angle. Uh, certainly the cup was very good uh, for us midweek. All hail to the ale. Been in superb form. Hapal Beersheva, well, well worth following. Got three plus goals in them. Heaven 11, of course, uh, in Liberia. One of my favourite sides to follow. Wednesday. African Cup of Nations again, and international football. Belgian Cup. So Wednesday is a bit of a damp squib, isn't it? Lots of Brazilian football. 
English FA Cup continues as well. And the Greek Cup. So it looks like another cup week, which was uh, we had to flog, slog through last week. La Liga Portugal on Thursday. Braga sporting Lisbon tended to deliver when very strong favourites Lisbon. The last match, similar odds, and they won 1 3, I think. African Cup of Nations continues. Egypt need to bounce back after that draw against Mozambique. Must start winning. This is the group stage. Asian Cup, Australia just limped past India. Two second half goals. India should be gettable. Uh, no other strong opinions there. So it's international and cup week, really. So likely, similar to last week, Friday's when it starts getting busy. Mainz actually scored a goal last week. Couldn't believe it. Really had trouble scoring, but uh, they did deserve that equaliser against Wolfsburg. Saturday, hopefully, will be nice and busy again. Premier League returns with uh, London Derby, Arsenal Crystal Palace. And Nuno Espirito Santos, Nottingham Forest, won't fear anyone at the moment. He's unlocked the goals for them. Bundesliga returns. Do be wary. These two underperformed last week. As I said in the live chat, once you get to uh, the lineups, just make sure that they're not got ma major absentees, particularly from the African Cup of Nations. So it's an important consideration. So when you get the lineups tomorrow, just check that for Juventus as well. Are they, well, might have it now already, will not play. So these are all injuries. So there's no one in the African Cup of Nations or on international duty for Juve. So no excuses. But they are missing some of their big names. Uh, McKenney, absent. Paul Pogba, doping. So have a great day today. You're unlikely to hear from me. And if you're interested in tennis, uh, do get in touch. I'll certainly be covering it a lot more in depth when we're on English time. We can actually do a tennis webinar or tennis live stream just to show you how I would read these matches but they do go a little slow they, some matches are four hours long so it won't really make and as you can see with catching off looks like he's going to be winning that second set so that's exactly what we're after a nice simple odds move 5.7 to be winning 3-0 I don't think so so it's a very good angle in and we've got here already Thompson's Come back against Vukic. Two Australians meeting each other in Australia. It's going to be competitive. So that's not a surprise. But we're trusting 1.4 that Thompson won't lose 3-0. Have a great day today. If I am up and about later on, I'll certainly pass on any trades. I do like the football this evening. But it's a, as ever, it's a time issue. And it's my day off as well. Have a great day.